So what makes this pasta salad so great is it's got feta in it. You know what I'm saying? You put a little bit of Greek in anything and it's like, mmm. And to make the pasta, you'll forgive me, I had to pre-cook it. I didn't want you all to have to wait. You can see how nice it came out. That's tri-color pasta, bolted water, nine minutes for al dente. Well, that's how much I left it for because that's, that's what I like. But you know what? You may have different tastes than me. I hope you forgive me that I used Ronzoni. If I could have found a Greek pasta, I would have used it, but we didn't have one for this recipe. Oh, I can tell my broccoli is almost done. So, I take it off of the stove, and all of a sudden there was like a smoke-filled haze all over my apartment, and I guess those smoke detectors didn't go off because the batteries are old, because you know the smoke detectors are so high up, you never get to put the fresh battery in, and then it beeps and then it dies. So nothing went off, and my entire apartment, ladies and gentlemen, was filled with smoke. I kid you not. I thought, oh my God. It was so bad, my super actually came up and said, Wendy, is everything okay? Well, you know, it wasn't okay. It's not okay because I am doing the best I can to get through the pandemic like all of you. But you know what? You have to admit, we all have our off days, don't we? But now that we're flying virtually to Greece, we feel good, ladies and gentlemen, don't we? And that, that ambient mixed without alcohol, mm, it's fabulous. Okay, let me put the broccoli in. There we go. All nice and tender. Now I just added the feta cheese into the pasta salad and I noticed that this feta cheese is Alouette on it, which is like a French company. Maybe somebody can explain to me why the French are making Greek products. I, I don't know, but you know, you can't explain anything anymore, can you? Okay, so I'm gonna toss this up, all nice, and then the best part of all, Pitted Kalamata olives. That's right, the pitted Kalamata olives. Ooh, well that came off easier than I thought. And I have my own way of adding olives to a dish. You know, I like a little of that olive juice in there, ladies and gentlemen, I do, because I feel it's healthy for you. Because you know what, olives are like a, they're a perfect food, especially these Kalamata olives. You know, I have to take a taste, I can't. Mm, that is so good. And I'm gonna tell you something, one of the coolest things that it does it's got a salty, salty taste to it, that's right. And if you put the olives in, then you don't have to deal with using salt, you know? And there we go. Oh my gosh, that is just, how cool is that? That looks really great, right? I'm, I definitely wanna show it to everybody. I'm so proud of it. Now, you just can't eat it right away. It's gonna have to go into the fridge, all right, and be cold, because it's better cold. It may be Greek, but it's better cold. Okay, so we have a pasta feta extravaganza here. That's that's right, and we're not done yet. That's right, we're not done yet because if you think about it, when you're on a plane and they serve the food, there's usually two things in that great little dish, right? They serve up two things. So I need to get going on my second dish.